Are you worried about your child not keeping eye contact? Or does your child does not seem to want to communicate? Are you worried about autism or autism spectrum disorder? Hi, I am Dr. Christine Kiat. I'm a board certified pediatrician. And in my channel, I give you weekly videos for any question that you might have on a certain topic in order to help you raise happy and healthy kids. In this video, we are going to talk about what is autism or autism spectrum disorder. What are the signs to watch out for in autism? And how to distinguish a typically developing child from a child with autism spectrum disorder? And how doctors screen for autism? And lastly, I give you tips to help you and your child. Autism or Autism Spectrum Disorder Autism Spectrum Disorder or ASD is a neurological and developmental disorder that begins in early childhood and lasts throughout a person's life. It affects how a person acts and interacts with others as well as how a person communicates and learns. People with ASD may communicate, interact, behave, and learn in ways that are different from others. What are the early signs of autism? Children with ASD show developmental differences even when they are babies. But since they sit, they crawl, and they walk on time, subtle differences in body gestures, pretend play, and social language uh, may go unnoticed. So in autism, social and language skills are affected. Families may also notice that aside from language delays and behavioral differences, children with ASD may also interact with their peers differently. These early signs of autism may already be present before their first birthday and typically show up before 24 months. According to the AAP or the American Academy of Pediatrics, these are some of the signs of ASD in terms of children's social interaction. So first, they don't keep eye contact, doesn't respond to a parent's smile, doesn't look at objects that a parent is looking at or pointing to, doesn't point to objects to get their parent to look at them, and doesn't bring objects to show a parent. Other signs include doesn't often have appropriate facial expressions, they are unable to perceive what others might be thinking or feeling by looking at their facial expressions, they don't show concern for others or empathy, and they are unable to make friends. Now, the signs of ASD in terms of communication. Children with ASD do not point at things to show their needs or to share things. They do not do that. They do not say single words by 16 months. They do parroting or they repeat exactly what others are saying without understanding their meaning. They do not respond to the name their name being called but does respond to other sounds. They refer to themselves as you and others as I. They do not seem to want to communicate. They don't start or can't continue a conversation. They don't use toys or other objects to represent people. They may have good remote memory where they are good with numbers, letters, songs, TV jingles. They may lose language or other social milestones. This typically happens uh, around 15 to 24 months and this is what we call regression. Then, the signs of ASD in terms of a child's behavior. Children with ASD have the stereotypic behavior where they rock, they sway, they twirl their fingers, they walk on their toes for a long time, or they flap their hands. They like routines, order, and rituals, whereby changing or transitioning from one activity to the next makes it difficult for them. 
they are obsessed with a few or unusual activities and they do this repeatedly throughout the day. They play with parts of toys instead of the whole toy, for example, the spinning wheels of a toy truck. They don't seem to feel pain and they may be very sensitive to smells, sound, lights, texture, and touch. Now, how to distinguish a child with autism from a typically developing child? So at 12 months, a typically developing child will turn his head when he hears his name, but a child with ASD might not turn to look even after his name is repeated several times, but will respond to other sounds. At 18 months, a typically developing child with delayed speech, for example, will point, gesture, or use facial expressions. While a child with ASD might make no attempt to compensate for delayed speech or will limit his speech to echoing what is heard on TV. At 24 months, a typically developing child brings a picture to show his mother and shares his joy with her. A child with ASD might bring her toy to open but does not look at his mother's face or share in the pleasure of playing together. Now, how do pediatricians screen for autism? According to the AAP or the American Academy of Pediatrics, all children should receive a formalized ASD screening at their 18 and 24 month well child visits. This screening can identify children with behavioral and developmental problems early on where they can benefit from early intervention. This screening is applied to all children for screening to be effective. Remember, screening is not diagnosing. So if a child is positive on the screening, it does not mean that he or she will be diagnosed with ASD. At the same time, if a child screens normally but you still continue to worry about ASD, then let your doctor know about it. If you are worried and your child has not had a formal screening, ask your doctor about getting a formal screening. So if autism is suspected, what to do next? A full assessment or evaluation is needed before arriving at the diagnosis. Ideally, this is done by a team of professionals and it involves asking parents and caregivers uh, a number of questions. It also involves observing the child and performing a physical examination and it also involves running various tests. Now, I offer you tips on what you can do to help your child. First off, do not compare siblings to each other. An older child might be advanced for his or her age while your second child might be developing in a typical way. Then, do not place blame. Parents did not cause speech or language disorders. It is inaccurate to tell a parent that he or she could have done something. Then, do not give labels. Uh, leave the diagnosis to the experts. And lastly, do not wait and see if the child outgrows the problem. It is best if your child is seen by a professional early on. Alright, that's the end of our video. I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Hi! I hope you enjoyed the video. I am here to provide support and help you raise happy and healthy kids. If you have any questions or if you want to suggest a topic, just type in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the bell button to keep posted. Alright?